this is mine Oh, what a foretaste Of glory divine Ear of salvation of God born of his spirit washed in his blood pleasant assurance Jesus is mine Purchase of God Born of His Spirit Washed in His blood This is my story Yes, 
smell like you, Lord. You're my divine help, Jesus. The smell like you, oh, my God. Praising my Savior all the day long, long, long. Savior. 
the day long yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. My father, you are my story, my blessing My help, in you will I trust, Lord That's not like you, Lord Lift up your voice, give God praise. Blessed be the name of our God. Blessed be the name of our God. That's not like you, O 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 God. Wherever you are, lift up your voice and give Him praise. Lift up your voice and bless Him. Lift up your voice and glorify Him. Lift up your voice and exalt Him. Give Him all the praise. Give Him all the glory. Give Him all the praise. Give God all the glory. Give God all the honor. I <laughs> I am Payola Balabapa, I am Payola Balabasa, I am Payola In Jesus' name have we prayed. Hallelujah. A good morning to each and every one of you, wherever you are connecting from. We thank God so much for the blessing He's given us to connect to this altar of answered prayer, this altar of turn around, this altar of glory and honor and favor. It's an altar of victory, and I believe strongly that God is bringing victory in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that may you experience all round victory as you go through the pages of this day in the name of Jesus. May the Lord exalt your horn like the horn of the unicorn. May the Lord crown you with glory and honor in the presence of all your enemies. 
I want you to share the link with as many people as you can. Call a brother, a sister, a loved one to connect, to join us in this time of prayer so that together we can experience the goodness and the mercies and the blessings of the Lord. It's a new day. It's a blessed day. The psalmist said that this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. So wherever you are, I believe that as we've started the day, the first thing we need to do is to thank the Lord for this day and to bless him for this day. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to thank God for this day. Lift up your voice and bless him. Lift up your voice and thank him. Thank him for this day. Give him praise for this day. Bless his name for this day. Glorify him for this day. Exalt him for this day. I am I Somebody lift up your voice and thank you. Lift up your voice and praise we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We bless you, God. We glorify you, God. We exalt you, God. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Enter his courts with praise. Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice. We are glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this day. We praise you for this day. We bless you for this day. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name, have we prayed? Hallelujah. One more time, I want to encourage you that you share the link with as many people as you can. I want you to know that as you have connected to command your morning, God is bringing blessings in your life in this day in the name of Jesus. As you begin to command your morning, as you begin to command your day, as in prayer, we begin to speak words into this day. Those words are bringing about the blessings of God in our lives in the name of Jesus. I see you walking in glory. I see you walking in the favor of God. I see you walking in victory and abundance. I see you walking in prosperity. Every plan, every project that you have for this day, it shall excel, it shall succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us, commit your ways into his hand. Trust also in him and he will let them come to pass. As we have started a day, I believe that each and every one of us, we have some tasks, some plans, some projects for this day. We want to commit everything we are going to do in this, in this day into the hands of God and we are praying that Lord grant us good success as we go through this day. Lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. Commit what you have doing into the hands of God. Pray that you shall have good success. 
Commit your plans into the hands of God. Commit your plans into the hands of God. Commit your plans into the hands of God. Yes, Lord, we commit our ways into your hand. We commit our plans into your hand. Grant us the success, O God. Grant us the success, O God. Grant us the success, O God. Lift up your voice and pray. For the Lord grant you good success. The Lord grant you good success in all that you do. May the Lord grant you good success. May the Lord grant you good success. The Lord grant you good success. Yes, yes, yes. Lift up your voice. I in Jesus name have we prayed hallelujah in Psalm 116 verse 1 the psalmist said that I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. We've started a new day and it's important that we call to God for his mercy. We need the mercy of God as we navigate through the pages of this day. And so we want to pray right now. We want to lift up our voices wherever, wherever you are. I want you to lift up your right hand. Say after me. Say, oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I cry to you for mercy. I cry to you for mercy. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Lift up your voice. I begin to pray right now. Pray for the mercy. Pray for the mercy of God. Pray for the mercy of God. Lift up your voice. I have a lot of I have a lot of I have a lot of I have a power. I have prayer. I have a power. Lord, we pray for mercy. Oh God, we pray for mercy. Lord God, we pray for mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Be merciful to us, oh God. Be merciful to us, oh God. Be merciful to us, oh God. A power of Allah. A power of Allah. A power of Allah. A power 
Show us mercy. Show us mercy, O God. Show us mercy, O God. Show us mercy, O God. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. Show us mercy, Lord. I you are 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 I you Show us mercy, oh God. 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 Show us mercy. I am alive. 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 I am Show us mercy, oh God. Show us mercy, oh God. Show us mercy. I am the one of the In Jesus' name have we prayed. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O King. We give you glory in this morning. We exalt your name because we would not be if not for your grace and for your mercy. We are not consumed because you covered us. And this morning with our hands lifted, our voices lifted in worship, we ask that you be enthroned in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds. Be glorified.
said, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be, let it be a sweet, sweet savor, Lord. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. I said, let my boys, let it be a sweet day. Let it be a sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, oh, oh, oh sweet sound in your ears. Yes, Lord. Draw me deeper, deeper to your word of truth. Draw me deeper, deeper to my love for you. Draw me deeper, deeper to the place where you are. Draw me deeper and deeper that I may know your heart. Say it again. Draw me deeper, deeper to your word of truth. Draw me deeper, deeper to my love for you. Draw me deeper and deeper to the place where you are. Draw me deeper and deeper. That I may know your heart, yes, Lord. Draw me from fear into your faithfulness. Yeah. Lead me along your way. Draw me from sin into your holiness that I may be a living praise I said again draw me from sin into your holiness said lead me along your way Draw me from fear into your faithfulness yeah, That I may be your living praise Draw me deeper, deeper to your word of truth yeah. Draw me deeper and deeper to my love for you Draw me deeper and deeper to the place where you are. Draw me deeper and deeper that I may know your heart. Say it again. Say it. Draw me deeper, deeper to your word of truth. Draw me deeper and deeper to my love for you, yeah. Draw me deeper and deeper to the place where you are. Draw me deeper and deeper. Please draw me deeper. And I want to go deeper and deeper. I want me close to you. Oh, oh, oh. Draw me deeper, deeper and deep. Say, draw me deeper, deeper and deep. I want me close to you, deeper and deeper. Take me deeper, deeper and deep. I want to know you, Lord, deeper and deeper. Oh, yeah, deeper and deeper. 
that I may know your heart. Yeah. So you're all I want this morning. You're all I ever need. You're all I want. Help me know you, heart me. Yeah, yeah. you're all.
This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. Yeah. This is my. This is my daily bread. Your very word, hey, spoke it, spoke it to me, yeah. and I. Word for I need you, Lord. I need you now than ever before, and I and I and I and I and I I'm a lost without you, yeah. Can be without you, yeah, and I Lord, come through for me. I am desperate for you. That you lead me, Lord. That you surround me. I'm desperate for. Yeah. I am desperate for you. Said I need the oh I need thee. every hour I need thee. Oh bless me now, my Savior. I call. Declare like you mean to say, I need thee, oh, I need thee, oh God, every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I call. Be now. 
now my Savior I call to the quiet travel Jesus Oh now Israel my home crumb crumb round match rabbit me fasten so we I feel full from me my <laughs> You want to lift your voice and thank the Lord your God. Wherever you are, you want your voice to be lifted. Oh, my God. 
If you haven't shared the video yet, please go ahead and share the video in the link with your friends and family and everybody you know and you care about. And please ask them to join in. Let's all go before our God together. Because if we will do that, we're going to see the glory of our God, the might of our King, the beauty and the splendor of our Savior. That's why we congregate on this august platform. And all that we do is that we lift up our hands, we lift up our voices, we lift up prayer before our God, knowing that if we call on Him, He will answer. Knowing that if men rise against us, all that we can do is to give ourselves to prayer. All that we have to do is to go before God, knowing if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. If they will seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, God said, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their lands. That is the word of God. It is infallible. It is unquestionable. It is unchallenged. It has integrity. It has efficacy. And that's the word of God. That's why I'm inviting you and your friends to join in right now. Let's go before our God together. Yesterday we started with uh, our supernatural meetings or conference and um, it was amazing we had a great time in the presence of our god tonight i'm inviting you those of you who happen to be around we're doing it tonight we're doing it tomorrow night from 6 to 9 p.m as well but we want to go before god right now thank you holy spirit of god if you can just lift up your right hand yesterday night we started and um, there are some things that we lifted even in prayer um, we, we started now telling the people of the church um, that sometimes if destiny will throw things at you, God will not deliver you from them. God will strengthen you to go through them. Uh, because there are some things that you have to walk through. That's why David said, yea, they do, I walk through. You can't walk above it. You can't walk underneath it. You just have to go through it. And so sometimes God will strengthen you to go through what you have to go through. We prayed for the strength of God, but we also measured on the benefits of his death and resurrection this is the holy week we will come back to some of the, the the nuances in the holy week we'll come back and look at it but before we do that i want you to pray with me that whatever is the benefit of his death will be made available to you the benefits of his death will be made available to you whatever he died for will be made available to you say lord jesus lord, lord jesus, jesus as i lift up my voice, as I lift up my voice and as i begin to pray and as I let the benefits of your death be made available to me. Let the benefits of your death be made available to me. In the name of Jesus, let the benefits of your death be made available to me. And if you can lift up your voice and pray in that direction, you will be for your soul. It will be good for your spirit. It will be good for you. And the benefits of the dead will be made available to you. And the short benefits of his death. All I've got to be doing is the Holy Spirit of God. The benefits of his death will be made available to you. Come on, lift it. The benefits. The benefits. The benefits. The benefits. Yeah, <laughs> 
God had created Adam and Eve, placed them eastward of the garden, gave them the garden to keep it, to dress it, to enjoy it. When they fell, they lost what God had given to them. The beauty of it is the death of Christ, the death of the second Adam. For the first Adam had failed typologically. The second Adam brought restitution, brought restoration. So whatever was lost, the death of Christ was to bridge that gap and bring it back. We cannot talk about the Holy Week without talking about the benefits of his death may this death of the christ bring you to the place of recovery restoration and redemption and that i believe should be the prayer of somebody under the sound of my voice right now the lord let your death bring me recovery restoration and restitution Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, as I lift up my voice, as I, I lift up my voice, and as I begin to pray, and as I begin to pray, let your death, let your death, bring me the recovery, bring me the recovery, the redemption, the redemption, and the restitution, and the restitution. Let anything lost, let anything lost, let anything lost, let anything lost, be restored now, be restored now. I pray in your name, I pray in your name, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, that there will be restoration. 
that will be restored. Restore unto me. Restore unto me the days and the years. The days and the years that the palmer worm, that the palmer worm, the locust, the locust, and the canker worm, and the canker worm have eaten. As I lift up my voice, lift up my voice bring me absolute recovery. Bring me absolute recovery. Total recovery. Total recovery. Total restoration. Total restoration. Let it be made available. Let it be made available. By reason of your death. By reason of your death. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. And resurrection. And resurrection. In the name of Jesus. Would you lift your voice? Would you lift your voice? Would you lift your voice? He became poor that you will be rich. He was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised, but it was for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. Now, I love this because it tells you if you're a child of God, that anything that is untoward is an aberration of the divine truth. So if you're working in poverty, it is incongruous to the divine provision. If you're working under any form of oppression, suppression, depression, subversion, whatever form of visions you are working under, it is against the dictates and the provisions made by the blood. The blood has paid the ultimate price the ultimate placement has been made that you are not supposed to walk in the shadows anymore. You are supposed to walk in the marvelous light of God. So if that is not your position, that is why Jesus died. He died so that you can have that position that you are not sick anymore because by his stripes you were healed. That you are not poor anymore because he became poor that you will be rich. That you are not under transgressions, under oppressions, under regressions, under subversions, under depressions. You are not under any of them because he paid the ultimate price. 
He did not pay with the blood of bullocks. He did not pay with the price of chickens. He paid with his holy blood. And I can tell you that blood still runs warm through Emmanuel's veins. And you want to go before God. Now, Lord, if this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is you, Oh, I wish I could sing that song, but lift up your right hand. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus as I lift up my voice, as I lift up my voice, and as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, let the divine placement, let the divine placement, be upheld in my life, be upheld in my life, that I'll be poor no more, that I'll be poor no more, that I'll be sick no more, that I'll be sick no more, I'll be wounded no more, I'll be wounded no more, I will regress no more, I will regress no more, I will stagnate no more, I will stagnate. No more. But I'll be like the city that I'll be like the city built on a hill. Built on a hill. From today, from today, let the glory, let the glory and the triumphs, and the triumphs, the victories, the victories and the triumphs, and the triumphs of your blood, of your blood, of your death, of your death, of your resurrection, of your resurrection be made available, be made available to me and my household, to me and my household, just as Joshua has said, just as Joshua has said, as for me and my house, as for me and my house, Father, let that be my story too. Father, let that be my story that for me and my house, that for me and my house, we are given the advantage. We are given the advantage for me and my house. For me and my house, we have been given the advantage. We have been given the advantage. We have been redeemed. We have been redeemed from the curse of the law. From the curse of the law, we have been redeemed. We have been redeemed from the dictates of the enemy. From the dictates of the enemy, we have been redeemed. We have been redeemed from ancestral holds. From ancestral holds, we have been redeemed. We have been redeemed from ancestral curses. From ancestral curses, we have been redeemed. We have been redeemed from anything, from anything that is not in alignment. That is not in alignment with your word. With your word, as we lift up our voices, as we lift up our voices, and as we begin to pray, and as we begin to pray, let the divine placement, let the divine placement be enforced, be enforced in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the divine placement, let the divine placement be enforced now, be enforced now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I wish you could lift your voice and pray right now. Oh yes. Come 
on Jesus name today is what is known in Catholicism as the Holy Feste I I went to the Catholic school was at my seven the Catholic Church so I remember all our rituals was in the Catholic school and Catholic Church for a while my parents were Methodist so ended up in the Methodist Church as well so I have both legs the Catholic and Methodist that's how the journey started for me but in between the Holy Thursday sorry um, um, flanking the Holy Thursday will be the Good Friday and what we call the spy Wednesday Others all call it the Holy Wednesday as well, but it's a Spy Wednesday, the Holy Thursday, and the Good Friday. Uh, the Holy Thursday is very significant in the walk of a Christian because it also gives you a picture of the Christ that is a virtue or a value that all of us must try to imbibe. The Holy Thursday is, or, or what they call the Monday Thursday. You can call it the Monday Thursday, you can call it the Holy Thursday. Monday because it's from the Latin word mandatum. Mandatum is also because there is a reflection. Jesus said that I give you a new commandment. So it was, it was a reflection of Jesus' commandment that I give you uh, a new commandment. Jesus' word, I give you a new commandment. So it's from the Latin word commandment, mandatum. And mandatum became the Monday Thursday. And he said that to them because it's a reflection of what he did by washing the feet of his disciples on the Holy Thursday. So it was on the Holy Thursday that he washed the feet of his disciples. And all that he was saying is that if I, being the Almighty, could go so low to wash your feet which is an act of service and humility you should walk in that also most of us we've got into a place where maybe god has given you some bit of elevation or respite you've seen a few things in life you have seen some elevation some honor and because of that this virtue of the christ is not very reflective in your life you can walk in humility you 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 walk in self pontification you are you are overly pious you are walking in you are suffering from the acute case of christian seriousness you have suffered christian titus for a very long time you've moved from one place to another you've been somebody who is arrogant you are you cannot you cannot drop your shoulders and walk in humility you can't do that but jesus did that on the holy thursday and and he, I cannot walk you through the Via Della Rosa without bringing your mind to what happened and what he did, what he achieved, what he laid down for our lives. And it's very important that I bring your mind, I, I avert your mind to the fact that he humbled himself. And if you are a Christian, you have to walk in humility. Humility is when you get to a place where you know that whatever you have, he gave you. Humility is when you get to a place where you know that serving somebody doesn't make you subservient to the person so humility is when you know that service is the truest form and the purest form of leadership that like jesus introduced the servant leadership approach and dimension to assistance i want you before we even go on and pray any prayer we want to pray right now to remember and be reflective on jesus's words new commandment i give to you and it was the commandment it was what he had done uh what we call the monday uh, thursday or the holy thursday washing the feet of his disciples are you humble enough to serve other people are you humble enough to know that the political appointment you have is just a tool to serve and make the lives of other people better are you are you are you humble enough to know that your term is just four years or eight years or five years depending on your jurisdiction are you humble enough to know that if God has given you any form of elevation it is so that the lives of other people will not be miserable are you humble enough to do the right things by God and by yourself 
and by the people that happen to be around you you want to pray in the name of jesus i want this virtue to reverberate through your soul that you walk in humility because that is the holy thirst state to walk in humility for jesus christ humbled himself even to the point of death not just any death the capital punishment the, the purest and the highest form of humiliation whereby a man is rendered and and and, and stripped naked and lifted up so that everybody you don't even have to do much to see that the man is naked you have to just look at him and you see it that was the kind of humility he had i want you to pray that lord god even as i go through this holy week let the spirit of humility rest on my soul let the spirit of humility rest on my being yes. cause me oh god to also walk in humility i want that to be a solemn prayer but pray that prayer let me walk in humility 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 i want to hear you pray those of you that are out there i want to hear you pray those of you online i want to hear you pray walk in humility Because he was humble, he was given a name. Hallelujah. Because Jesus was humble, he was given a name that was above every other name. At the mention of his name, every your humility will bring you a name. Your humility will make you a name. Your humility will give you a name. Your humility will lift you on top. Your humility will separate you from the rest. Your humility, if you want to go quicker, if you want to be elevated, if you want to be helped, walk in humility because God, the Bible says, resist the proud but he gives grace to the humble you want to pray that lord cause the lines to fall for me in pleasant places let that be my story cause the lines oh yes cause the lines now may the lord our god bless and keep you may his face shine upon you may the lord lift his countenance upon you and bring you peace oh as they used to separate her from the west so are you separated from any calamity or disaster it is well with you in jesus name amen we'll come your way tomorrow as we wrap up the week but i'm inviting you um to the, the this evening's um supernatural night those of you that happen to be around come let us wait on god together and god will give us greater victories together god bless we look forward to seeing you god bless show me your